Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we're taking a look at the holidays and events recently announced for May. It's a fun one and there's quite a lot to get through, so without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So it seems Nintendo have decided to put out another small update to add a bunch of new content for May for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now the update itself will bring Animal Crossing New Horizons up to version 1.10 and just like previous monthly updates will include new seasonal events and holidays, most of which will be time locked which is to be expected. Unfortunately, no trailer has been released this time around, but Nintendo have published a bunch of new screenshots showing off what these upcoming events will look like, as well as previewing their exclusive items. The May update is scheduled to release sometime around April 28th and will include three returning holidays that have been slightly refreshed for 2021, as well as a bunch of old and new seasonal events, some of which add even more new items to the game. Starting with the holidays, May Day returns from April 29th and runs through to May 7th and once again gives us the chance to meet Rover, the iconic Animal Crossing cat character which is super awesome. Just like last year, you'll be able to obtain a May Day ticket and use it to fly to a limited time mystery island where you can take part in a maze to earn prizes. Fortunately, this holiday has been refreshed and the maze is different from last year which is great for people who have been playing since launch. We don't know for sure yet but the prizes will likely remain the same and include Bell Vouchers and Rover's Briefcase. The second holiday to return in the May update is of course International Museum Day that runs from May 18th through to May 31st. Again, much like last year, players have the opportunity to take part in a stamp rally within the museum in order to earn prizes. Like May Day, Museum Day has been refreshed slightly and sees the stamp rally also open in the art exhibition, adding a bunch of new stamp locations to find and collect. Although not confirmed, this will almost certainly add the art plaque to the prizes available from Blathers during the event. Moving on and before we get into all of these smaller seasonal items, the third event to return during the May update is none other than the wedding season which was extremely popular last year. Wedding season runs for an entire month from June 1st through to June 30th and we'll see Reese and Cyrus return to Harves Island to celebrate their anniversary. Just like last year, players are given the opportunity to decorate their wedding venue to earn heart crystals which can be redeemed against wedding furniture and of course to take some gorgeous wedding themed photos. Now, the wedding season event itself doesn't appear to have been refreshed, however, a new seasonal holiday called June Bride that runs alongside Reese and Cyrus' celebration is scheduled, adding all new wedding items to the Nook Stop, including wedding bells, pillows, door plates, and flowers. Furthermore, all new wedding themed clothing and fashion items will be added to the Able Sisters stock, including a new hat. Now, that pretty much sums up all the major holiday events currently returning to New Horizons for May and June, so basically covers two months worth of content so naturally these events will be time locked up to a few days before the events go live. The good news is this small update is larger than it seems and also adds around 12 seasonal holidays that will run from the end of April when the update goes live and all the way through to the start of August. Some of these holidays include Children's Day, Mother's Day, Rolling Cheese Day which sounds super interesting, International Children's Day, June's Bride which we mentioned earlier, Father's Day, Tango Bushi, the Summer Solstice and Winter Solstice, depending on which hemisphere you're in of course, the Tanabata Festival, Marine Day, Bastille Day and finally Cowboy Day. Now some of these events we have seen before and their original items will return, but most of them are new or feature all new or refreshed items, which is super cool. For example, Children's Day, which is celebrated on May 5th, sees the awesome Carp Streamers item and the Shinbun no Kabutu hat item available to purchase for a limited time. The hat is of course better known as the Newsprint Helmet in New Leaf, so will no doubt be a super popular item. Another new seasonal holiday includes Cheese Rolling Event, which which will be held from May 22nd through to May 31st and offers up the awesome looking cheese wheel item. Of course, all of these were announced in various Nintendo news articles earlier today, so other than these screenshots and a few details here and there, we don't know what all of the items and prizes look like just yet, so there's a lot to look forward to. But what do you think about this 1.10 May update? Are you glad to see a roadmap of holidays and events announced for the next couple of months, or would you rather see smaller monthly updates? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Of course, this doesn't mean there won't be any other updates between now 
now and then. I get the feeling Nintendo has something really big planned and they're just trying to distract us before dropping a 2.0 update. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe as we'll be uploading a bunch of New Horizons news as and when it happens. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you made it to the end of the video, please comment. Cheese! Just to let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And please be sure to include what you think Nintendo's plans are for New Horizons horizons as we head into the summer. I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.